Hi guys, it's your boy Doe. I just came back from a holiday and decided to finally make that video that I've been uh, having on my mind for quite some time. And um, that is going to be tips and tricks or for some of you, um, 10 things you do not know about Diablo Immortal. I hope you're going to like it. And if so, please do let me know in the comments if you would like to see... Uh, more videos like that and uh, what kind of topics uh, you would like me to cover. So let's just start up now with um, Paragon points. And um, I'm just going to show you here real quick and ask you, did you know that you can actually use um, passive points? What does that mean? That means you probably know by now that you can have only one active Paragon 3 at a time. Right now I'm using Treasure Hunter because I've been uh, farming lastly and I like to use the 50% more experience gained from defeating elite monsters. Um, some might say it's not very useful, but hey, I'm just going to take it. Why not? And since I do like also playing... Um, a lot of pvp i have all of my points stacked on gladiator so let's say i would play uh, pvp i would activate this one and then what do you do with the rest of the points somebody might ask well depending on uh what you do you would always like to go to different trees and uh, you know unlock your path to uh the skill that gives you damage if you're playing a uh, damage dealer of course and as you can see here it says uh, once learned this attribute bonus is always applied to your character which means if you get here 15 out of 15 then you can go to vanquisher and you can get here like i did 25 out of 25 which is another extra 500 damage and let's say you can go even further, let's say you don't like playing um, PvP like I do, you can just get um, your path to uh, to the end here, so you can get the twenty five out of twenty five points to damage, which is gonna give you extra five hundred, and invest the rest of the points going uh, down here. I think it requires less points than going on top. Uh, to get to the bottom and get 25 points here as well it doesn't matter if you have currently this or this or that three activated you can use these points only those that appear here in these boxes that are let's say one out of one are specific for the three and if you don't have this three activated then you're not going to be profiting from them now going to number two combat rating well a lot of people been asking like uh how to get combat rating and stuff like this well by simply farming yes i know <laughs> it um sounds pretty logical but what do i mean by farming by farming i mean just find a spot and if you would like me uh let me know in the comments and i'll make uh, a video with uh, my favorite spots to farm but one of them, for example, is uh, right here at Shasser Sea, up here to this um, square kind of looking part. I recommend you find a group of four, so you also can get uh, some some gem drops for your secondary gear. You know, so you can upgrade your uh, citrines or uh, uh, tourmalines, whatever you might be using. You can also get additional um combat rating from your heliquary and what do i mean by that is simply by defeating all the bosses you will get the first time you defeat them a token from them which gives you combat rating by equipping that you increase your combat rating doing these bosses uh from monday to thursday and then from thursday to monday they reset every monday and thursday so make sure you make them twice a week and um, get your scoria in order to be able to um, uh, craft at the blacksmith what is called uh, hellfire scoria 
all right and once you have enough you can upgrade your uh heliquary and as you can see at level 23 i'm having plus 230 combat rating which is not little right so it's a great way to get some um, additional combat rating and next would be simply to upgrade your gear talking about uh, secondary and main slots do that as soon as you can and you have the required paragon fulfilled if you for some reason are lacking um, enchanted dusts in west march next to the blacksmith there is a guy from which you can exchange uh, scrap for enchanted dust it costs 10 scrap for one piece so it's not even expensive and that will help you a lot now to number three since i mentioned raid bosses i want to show you right now um as you can see you have three difficulties keep in mind that if you for some reason let's say um start some harder boss and um, you do lower difficulty you get the rewards for the lower difficulty and later on if you do the higher difficulty you won't get anything from it so you lose some scoria okay so always keep in mind when starting um, uh, your bosses when they reset and you're doing them again to always start from the highest possible difficulty you can get and uh, you know then you can help people with lower difficulty or whatever but don't lock yourself by you know doing lower difficulty because you get the smaller price while we are on the same uh topic here talking about the scorium as you can see here this one is already checked that means i did this one with war band and this is something that a lot of people do not know that uh let's say i haven't done this one as you can see it's not checked and a lot of people haven't done these bosses with with um with a war band so they think okay i can do it each week and get like for example for um uh, second difficulty of gorgota i'll be getting um twice a week 55 scoria right yes but no it is only one time so if you do it uh, if you have done it once with your warband that's it you get this price and then it will be simply marked like it is right here did you know actually that you can pre-farm your um, gear for the next difficulty you can do um, this uh, when you're about to swap from hell one to hell two or from hell two to hell three and the same in my case now from hell three to hell four you can pre-farm your gear you do not uh, need to be the exact level for um for the requirement because if if you go to hell 4 now for example it says that it wants like uh uh paragon 150 and it wants um 3250 combat rating but that doesn't mean that you need you must to have it you can go in my case i started pre-farming my gear for um for hell 4 already with 120 around paragon and thousand uh, 2900 gear score uh combat rating yes i was a little bit too weak but let me show you why i did that and why is it worth it as you can see <laughs> that looks amazing doesn't it a lot of um a lot of upgrades here and a lot of triple stats with uh with four arrows stop um yeah so what does that mean that means that as soon as i hit now 150 i will go right now from uh 3100 to around uh, 4000 something and i'm gonna show you um that even now although i'm like 150 points below the 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 required the recommended uh, uh kind of level as you can see i My can still come friends. here and i can um i can kill these guys pretty okay if we click click here on the exclamation mark we'll see that i'm taking 123 percent more damage and i deal 55 less damage as you might know or not at least you will find out now you need exactly 377 keys to open 
all of the boxes in the basement of um, Ibn Fat's Sanctum. There has been, um, yeah, quite a, a myth, a mystery around these keys. Um, if it's worth it to save all of them or not. Well, I say no, because I did some math and um, as you can see, I already have all the keys, but um, all, all of the, um, you know, all of the knowledge is here and uh, vessels. So the, the, the last one that might turn out to be a little bit uh, luck based for you and uh, take some time to, to get is going to be Ibn Fat's tenacity. Okay, because this one has only 1% chance drop. 1% uh, chance to drop from the boxes that you find in the basement. And um, these boxes, they require the keys, right? So, is it worth it to uh, collect 377 keys and open them all at once? The myth around this has been that... Uh, by opening more and more chests and uh, proceeding further into the rooms, that gives you increased chance with each box opened. Yes, but no, it's not true. You always have 1% chance. So the math says that if you open every day just the five chests that you have in the first room, or if you have enough keys to go to uh, the seventh chest that wants 12 keys that would require you to have 37 keys each day is gonna give you the most materials that you can use to upgrade your um your vessels and i'm talking about saphir burial and garnet and you can see how many materials i got from this box and this can happen as well with multiple boxes uh, or the next one next to the one that I just opened but always keep in mind either you open the first room or to the seventh chest that is going to give you the most out of your keys otherwise you will be literally wasting keys if you go for 377 and it doesn't increase your chance of getting the um, um, you know the Ibn Fats um, tenacity so yeah you always have one percent chance and the, the 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 chance is the same did you know that you actually have a cap of your battle pass and as you can see here uh it is two thousand and four hundred points and i've covered this in a previous video so uh, i'm not gonna go like too deep into that make sure you you check the previous video uh but the conclusion is that if you're an active player you can turn these points however you wish but if you go away for a while like i was it's definitely worth it to stack up on some points so you know you can turn them back uh when um uh, you have some increased reward uh x p rewards so that will help you definitely to catch up with the rest of the guys. Point seven, TP to uh, safe location. Let's say you're somewhere out and we're farming and let's say our inventory gets full. Okay, looks quite full. My inventory is full. We imagine that my inventory is full. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've been farming some stuff. And did you know that you could go actually to the city salvage your stuff and go right back where you were by opening your inventory and select the option nearest safe location near safe zone whatever that is gonna send you to the nearest place with um uh, with a blacksmith and uh and um horadric altar where you can turn in your bestiary so let's say what can I do you come in here you salvage your stuff, well and as you can see, your teleport remains open. So I go back in, and it will return me exactly at the location where I previously was. So I can continue with my farm. Point eight, red elites, or orange, or call them however you wish. Did you know that you have a guaranteed 
legendary drop from them once a day it's a guaranteed drop so let's say you haven't killed a red one today make sure you do so that will give you a legendary item it doesn't matter how many legendaries you have already collected uh, if you haven't killed a red one today go do so and and after that it's pure chance like with everything else in this game point nine uh party finder although um like a lot of people are already like uh 100 plus paragon whatever i still keep on seeing a lot of people that uh do not know that the party finder they actually can utilize um uh, to create parties as well not just join somewhere but you can actually go uh, once you open party finder uh, let me show you once again it is right here next to your icon by clicking on these uh, guys here it will open your party finder or simply uh, from your menu you have it as well party finder and from here you can go and create a post however do not forget here by default is always hidden layer to select what you want to do from the drop list from from the menu um and I'll, I'll leave it for now uh hidden layer because i'm not intending uh, of doing any of that just for the sake of showing you how it works i'm gonna click create and as you can see recruitment post created so right now i have four open slots uh the interface changed and as you can see bam 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 applications coming in so I can either take these people or I can reject them. Okay. I can um, even go in here and I can inspect them, see how much damage they do. I can see how much combat rating they have. And I can select, is it a suitable person for my group for what I want to do or not? In this case, um, I'm not going to be declining or anything. I am going to show you quickly that by clicking here, on uh the last um button i have here i can select edit post what does that mean let's say uh you haven't had any applications in a while maybe nobody's seen that okay so you can go every two three minutes uh edit post and click update post and what this is gonna do is gonna repost your uh uh party finder as you can see here, a hidden layer, hell for hidden layer, hell for this is all from me. Okay, and you can repose that uh, on two, three minute basis or something like this. So you can fill up your group as quick as possible and get yourself going. And now last but not least, point 10, character change. Did you know that you actually can change your character with the last patch that uh, Blizzard introduced? Now you can actually go and change your character. And um, surprisingly, this is not like, um, I don't know, uh, most of us uh, would have expected, or at least me, something that you would find on the uh, character cre creation section uh, when you go to your menu. And, uh, you know, uh, you want to select your character to have something like uh, reroll, change, whatever. It is actually in West March and it's in um, uh, Celine's uh, Basilica. And um, this is uh, this flame here, Shifting Flames. So if you click on it, as you can see, you have uh, one um, free class change. Um, it's um, once a week and you can reroll back um anytime to the previous hero that you changed from so let's say i'm playing now demon hunter and i would like to swap to i don't know crusader okay i can uh i can do that i can change it and you can click here by the way also on uh, overview and you can see uh yeah a little bit more details See, seven days cooldown, so I was right, one week, and you have to be at least 35 level. And 
keep in mind all the cosmetics you've bought. For example, if you have skins like I do for this hero, it won't give you a skin for the new one. It remains for this one, okay? So this is a little bit something you have to read carefully here. What is gonna happen. But one tip I wanna give you... Um, you can do it uh, anytime if you just, I don't know, want to try uh, some different hero. You can uh, change class, you can play a different hero, and you can roll back at any time back to your, uh, uh, you know, initial hero that you, that you changed from. But um, when you change to a new hero, keep in mind that um, the new hero is going to have... Um, the same combat score that you had previously but all the gear that that you that you have that you're gonna get on the new one is gonna be just like um um default gear let's say like uh, starters gear it won't it won't have um uh, those um those legendary strengths okay so that means you have to farm all of these legendary strengths that you would need um and extract them before you know you can use them on the new hero all right anyways um that was number 10 hero change and that concludes that video guys i think it's been already quite a, a long one um i hope it was um, um helpful to to most of you if if so please drop a like uh comment the video subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know um i definitely have way much more stuff i can share with you let me know what 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 would you like to know and uh, i can make a video about it as well until then stay safe and see you next time